Now that we have created a couple of extensions, let's learn how to debug them because debugging is very crucial to understanding where your code is going wrong. And I'm making a basic assumption that you are used to debugging regular web applications and want to learn debugging Chrome extensions in specific. All right, so if you open the developer tools and have a look at the elements or the CSS, you don't find the HTML or CSS related to the Chrome extension. So the, these elements, you don't find them over here. So to debug an extension, we need to right click on this icon and then select inspect pop-up. And now it opens a new window from where we can see all the elements. So for example, this H1 gets highlighted over here in the extension. If I, if I hover over H1, the same with H2 or the input elements. And for example, I can select H1 and add a style as well. So let's say color and let's give it orange and there you go. H1 is now changed to orange color. And if you go to sources, okay, let me, let me just open it again. I'm not sure why it didn't pop up. All right, so let's go to sources and now you see that popup.js, which is which is the JavaScript for popup.html is visible. So if I go to popup.js and let's say our code is going wrong and we need to figure out where it is going wrong. So I'm gonna set a breakpoint here and I'm gonna enter an amount. So 10 and click on spend and there you go. It hits the debug point and now I can hover over to check, okay, new total, uh, I'm getting the existing total of 30 from Chrome storage. Okay, that is working fine. And if I hover over amount, I get the value of 10, which is the value entered. So that is working fine. And then I can move on to the next step. And then the new total is going to be 40. That needs to be updated. So this is basically how you're going to debug your JavaScript. And when it comes to your options page, it is pretty simple. So if I right click and select options, it's going to open a new tab altogether. And now if I click on, or if I press F12, I get the elements. So I can select H1, H2, the two input buttons. So if I go to the sources tab, I get the options.js. So again, I can, uh, I can have a, a debug point over here when I click on reset total. And if I click on reset, it pauses in the debugger and I can move through the different steps. So this is basically how you are going to debug your pop-up and your options page. And we'll learn about debugging the background pages and content scripts in the next video.